Well, let's go into that. So, because I think a lot of people have a conceptual difficulty in this thing that's invisible, but yet it's affecting human pathology. So what is the primary patho mechanics of EMF on cellular function? Is it DNA damage? Ultimately, but yeah. actually let's back up a little bit and tackle, I'm going to use that question to also tackle a misconception, which okay. is ionizing radiation versus non-ionizing radiation. Okay. This is something that has been pushed in the media quite a bit when talking about cell phone radiation or EMF in general, which is, well, they are non-ionizing radiation, right. so they cannot impact our DNA. Ionizing radiation are X-rays, gamma rays, they are really high frequency radiations that can directly dislodge electrons from our DNA and therefore increase risks of right. cancer. EMF are non-ionizing, meaning the frequency is not high enough to directly dislodge an electron. With that being said, that does not mean that there is not another pathway that can trigger DNA damage. And this is what scientists have been focusing on. And as I mentioned before, the NIH via the National Toxicology Program found strong evidence of significant DNA damage from that exposure, 